Hello comrades, this is Helmer, our useless team, and welcome to part 2 of Enclave, the rebooted Let's Play. Our second mission of the Light Campaign begins. Protect the outpost. After fighting your way up to the surface, you face a threat far worse than imprisonment. The outpost is under attack, and you're rallied to fight side by side with your captors against the invaders. We must protect the outpost, defeat the Outlands, and kill their leader, Borje. Also, I'm sorry that there is no music in this part. I accidentally left it turned off when I recorded the episode. This won't happen again, I promise. We continue from where we stopped, when our character met with the Huntress. Our next trip is to the courtyard. Hey you! I could use your help here! The courtyard is crowded with enemies! Indeed it is. We need to clear it out! Oh hey! Our first ranged weapon! A crossbow! Get on Headshot! That's right! This game has a headshot system. You can headshot with any ranged weapon. There are specific two types of arrows made for this. Sniper arrows and magic arrows. But we will get to that when we get to that. I did what I could! Ah! Ow! We're being bombarded! Quickly, we must head inside! Otherwise the bloody outlanders will bury us here! Good work! Now we must save the outpost. Ah, uh, this is the part of Enclave that I hate. Well, not hate, but I am very annoyed by it. When characters speak their line of dialogue and they get hurt, they just- Oh my god! There's a bomb behind that door. They just don't finish the rest of the dialogue. Like, I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with me, but it just annoys me very greatly. No thanks, I'd rather snipe you all the way from here. Hey, speak for yourself! Ouch! Another fun feature of Enclave. We can load up multiple burst or flame arrows and just fire them all at once. Uh oh, a footman is in trouble. Ah, you bleeding idiot! Dude, chill out. They're all dead. And we saved the footman. Yes. We don't get any bonuses for saving him. I just wanted to do that. And feel good about myself. That was my point you are standing on. This guy's wearing the light armor, so it's harder to kill him. Especially with this shitty sword. Hallelujah. Okay, this area doesn't have any ways forward, but there is some gold here that we will need later. And also a health potion, which is always good. Ka ching Now we can go forward. Sorry about that. Ka ching I just wanted to be a little weirdo. Oh yeah, you don't have to press any button to open the doors unless they are locked and need a key. Knock knock! I'm here! Oh shit! Next time you'll bloody ass before you stop! Oh shit! We need to save this guy! Sky green I will send every damn one of you back to hell! <laughs> that was a good fight! Okay, saved another guy. Good. Pick up the gold that we ignored because we needed to go and save the soldier. And we can proceed forward and see what lies there. Thanks, mister. You're welcome, dude. Ah! Ow, what just happened? This point is mine. Do you understand that? And now for the orc. What the hell are you doing? Fine. More snotlings to kill. Good. What? How come you didn't notice me, you idiot? Whew. Okay, that was thrilling. Who's next? Hey, Private! Dickhead! You guys are! Goody good. I'll kill all the Dregatar. Ah, straight! No! <laughs> Jesus, that was a long scream. Yeah, yeah, you just stand there and do nothing. I'll kill you myself. Get all the glory. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. My inner psycho's waking up. Or maybe that's my inner blood knight. Who knows? Maybe I'm a psycho, maybe I'm a blood knight. I could be both. That's what you get for dropping a box on me. Stupid green skinned abomination. This is mine now. What is that orc doing? Attack the gate! 
Oh no, guys, he opened the gate to the outpost. Ah, oh, hell, the gate! If you know what's good for you, you will run! Fuck no! <laughs> Fuck no! Fuck no! <laughs> Stupid fucking Outlanders, okay. The gate is opened. So I guess we gotta take the fight to the Outlanders. They're gonna ram the gate! You goddamn greenskin bastard! I'll kill you! Take your lumps like a man, Private Egghead! Do not fight me, you dickhead! Okay, calm down, Nick. Calm down. We're almost at the end of this mission. Just need to kill the rest of the Outlanders, including Bourget. And we're done. Okay. Save your rage for the last levels. Bourget is that big berserker guy next to the catapult. Yes, these guys are called berserkers, although they look more like ogres. I guess they are ogres, they just call berserkers, but... You know what, whatever. Let's just kill everybody. Because the mission won't end unless we kill everyone, including Bourget. You're a tough mother shagger, Bourget. And he's down. Now we're gonna speed up and clean up the rest of the Outlanders and the second mission will end. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and my unbridled rage at these outlanders. And, as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye! Ah, but yes, before I go, there's also a cutscene, speaking with the Queen Islandel about something. You have done us a great service. Helping in staving off these vile invaders despite your imprisonment is bold, to say the least. Isn't this the same one that we had arrested earlier? You expect us to believe that these people are loyal to us when they won't even pay the taxes that they owe? Be gone! Lives were risked for our cause, Reverend One. A strong will exists for redemption. A second chance should be given. In reality, the Assembly doesn't speak English. It is true that you have committed a crime against us. Yet it seems you are willing to prove your loyalty to Selenheim. Because of this, I will offer you a proposition. If you continue to serve our cause and assist us in this action, you will receive full pardons and be embraced as honored warriors henceforth. There is a merchant named Marcus in the town of Seladia. He is very important to the Enclave, as he is the last merchant willing to transverse the rift and bring us supplies that are badly needed if we are to have any hope of withstanding the more frequent raids of the Dregatar. I have received word that the Dregatar have assaulted his convoys and attempted to assassinate him. He must be protected. We won't survive long without him.